Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkles Lucky, so we're gonna be doing another Isaac run today, as well, that's usually the clue that you can get from seeing this particular title screen. And I'm gonna play with Maggie again. Do I want to play with Maggie? Absolutely not. But we have to get her done eventually, sometime, so we're just gonna keep banging away until it uh, one day happens. So, you know, that's that's the general gist of it here. Anyway, I mean, I'm pretty glad to be done with at least a couple characters. Like, I'm completely done with Isaac, Kane, and uh, Eve. I never have to play with any of those characters again. But I do have to finish off the rest of the characters, which is going to take a while. But hopefully, we'll get there with time and patience. Um, so anyway, uh, I will definitely be continuing uploading a lot of Isaac on this channel. However, I've also been thinking about... Oh, I really wish I could get some of those bombs. Um, I've also been thinking about uploading some... Uh, RTS games, like mainly Age of Empires 2, Civilization 5. I just got Civilization 5 the other day. Um, during a Steam sale, it was like 7 bucks for the main game and 7 bucks for the expansion or something like that. Um, so I got the main game and one of the expansions. And it's been really, really fun so far. I've been playing it, and I'll definitely be making some videos of that. Also, um, I had a couple people that I have added on Steam that play Civilization 5, so I'm hoping to possibly get into some sort of online multiplayer game. I am error room, okay, um, this could be good, especially because I think one of these pills should be telepills, so I should be able to teleport out of this room. Yeah, I do have telepills here, so I should be able to teleport out and just get uh, some free pills. I'm not quite sure why it's so laggy. Health up, it's always good having a health up pill in the rotation, what's this? Health down, right? We could stop lagging. Uh, bombs are key, um, so now I have 10 keys, which is... Alright, I suppose, and balls of steel, so really good pills in the rotation. This was, what, just bad guess? Um, I could take Book of Shadows, I suppose, and I think I will take that over Yumheart. Um, and yeah, we'll teleport out. So that's pretty cool. I got some free stuff, uh, from that room, and I can also buy a Spirit Heart here if I would like to. Do I want to save my money, or do I want to buy the Spirit Heart? I think, uh, it's fairly early on in the game. I don't really need the money, so I will pass on that. We'll go back to the boss room. And that's pretty cool. Uh, when you get an I am error room with telepills, that's absolutely awesome because it just makes it so um, you get to teleport out again after the fight is over. So you don't lose your boss room or if you get iron error room after you've already picked up your item in your boss room, then that's okay. But I got a free health upgrade and free book of shadows from that I am error room. So I am not angry in the slightest. Um, anyway, we're fighting pin here. Should be fairly easy. Unfortunately, I don't have any bombs, so I can't one shot pin. I had 10 bombs a second ago, but now I have none. Um, but I do have 10 keys, which means I shouldn't have to worry about keys anytime in the near future. That's so weird to see that I am error room with like that many pills in it. I have not seen. Oh, that was close. That was way too close for comfort. I have not seen an I am error room with like eight pills in it before. That is definitely a first for me. Unfortunately, it had like five fat gas pills and only one health up. It would have been cool if I had five health ups, but maybe that would be a little bit overpowered. And we get pentagram! Okay, well that raises my deal with the devil chance. Although the next floor, well this floor, uh, in fact, will have a guaranteed deal with the devil as long as they don't take any red heart damage. But pentagram is also a damage up. I believe it's one damage up, but don't quote me on that. But anyway, pentagram is absolutely awesome. One of the greatest items, it's one of, more, one of the more rare boss items, but I've been getting it a lot lately. I, I've gotten it all of my last three runs, although I didn't upload my last run to YouTube, but... Um, my last run that I did upload to YouTube, I believe I didn't get it. So we'll go ahead and bo use Book of Shadows here to get a free this. Um, Book of Shadows hopefully is still active. Oh, I guess it's not. Um, Book of Shadows is supposed to last for like 12 seconds, but I guess it loses its uh, invincibility when you leave a room, which kind of makes sense, I suppose. But um, yeah, I got a few seconds of invincibility there, so I don't take damage during that particular, uh, entering that curse rooms, but it only takes three rooms to recharge, so I'll probably be able to use it on my boss. Teleports, um, as fun as it, as it would be to access another I am error room, I don't think that's very likely, so, um, one thing I found out is, is it, it, it's extremely rare to actually get I am error rooms, like, the chance to get one is, like, one in 20 or something, it's, it's quite rare, so you can't really expect to get them very often, or maybe it's more than that, but, um, anyway, we just have to find our boss room now, uh, which I have now found, and hopefully get a deal with the devil out of it. If I had a bomb, I would definitely blow that up and, and access that golden chest, because, I mean, I have 10 keys, so I can't really think of any good reason not to access that golden chest. Oh my goodness, these leapers, sometimes, these trites, 
that's their name, not leapers. Um, they jump so far sometimes, and there's a key in there just tempting me. So I really hope that um, I do get, end up getting some sort of bomb so I can access my way in there. And I will have like 12 seconds of invincibility or something for this Widow fight, so that's really nice. Um, so I got her like uh, halfway dead-ish. And Widow can be extremely frustrating with Maggie to fight, so it's really good to have Book of Shadows. The Book of Shadows is a good item, so I'm probably going to be hanging on to it. Um, but the reason why Widow can be so difficult with Maggie is just because she's really slow. So there's our deal with Devil, and we're up to 6 health now. Um, so we'll probably be able to buy something in here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Although I could get uh, halfway to Guppy with this, but I don't know. I get, I, yeah, I guess I could get halfway to Guppy if I got both of these, but I don't want to do that. One day I eventually will pick up um, Dead Cat. I still have never picked it up yet. One day will, I will do it, but not in a run where I'm playing as a character that I haven't beat Isaac or the chest with and I get a good start. That is not the best run to take Dead Cat, I don't think. I think the run where I would take Good Cat is where I'm playing with Isaac or Kane and I've already unlocked everything with them, so, um, you know taking some risks isn't really as big of a deal with those two characters. Whoa, that spider just glitched out of the rock there. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Um, it is possible, but it's not supposed to happen. Okay, we got the spider out without taking damage, and we did get the bomb drop I was looking for, so I will be able to access that golden chest, unless there's a tinted rock in this room, which there was, but um, it was revealed to me for free. Got another bomb. Would have been cool if there was a small rock in there, but okay, envy fights, so... I could probably use Book of Shadows in this fight. I'll wait till there's quite a few heads out um, on the board, though. I'll just explode these heads so there's like a ton of heads out, and then I'll use Book of Shadows and just like kind of go ham. If I had Poison Touch, that would be epic. I would be able to deal with this room so easily, but I unfortunately don't have Poison Touch. Um, so we're getting to the point where Book of Shadows would be nice to use. I'll just go ahead and pop it here. Um, the only reason I'm doing that is sometimes these heads can be a little bit difficult to not take damage from. We also want to kill the blue head last. Because if you kill the blue head, it counts as a champion envy. Um, even though the overall envy wasn't a champion envy, still, if you kill the blue head last, you can get the champion envy's drop, which is the attack fly. Instead of shoot the whoop, which we got. Uh, I did not mean to kill that dude last, but shoot the whoop basically all does is that. And it's like a three room recharge, so. It does high damage, but it's a three room recharge and you can only use it once per room, so it's not worth it. That sucks. If I had killed that blue head last, I would have gotten an attack fly, which is pretty good. It's not the best thing in the world. I really might as well check out the shop. I have 10 keys. Just in case there's a discounted item that I want to pick up, but I will buy this soul art, just because. Um, I'll still have 5 cents left over, so I can spawn an arcade on the next floor if I want to do that. I mean, I have a lot of red hearts, so an arcade would not be a bad thing, because I'd be able to play a blood bank or something. Let's go ahead and pop this open. We'll get a free key for doing so. And a golden chest. So we got our bomb back and we got our key back. So essentially we got nothing from that, but I think it was worth it. Just for the rare chance of fate, which I still need to find one of these days. And I will get. I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to happen. I promise that. All right, so let's see if I have enough range. Not quite enough to range to take out this guy. I do have enough range to take him out without him shooting back at me, though, so that's always nice. So hopefully, um, I could get an angel or devil room on this floor. I mean, I don't think I'll lose any red heart damage, so I'll have a pretty good shot. I think it's like a 70% or 80% shot to get it. Isaac's head is our first trinket. is fine. That's really the best thing I can say about it, is it's just fine. I won't take my reflection. That can be a bad item in some situations. I believe my reflection does lower your range. And uh, Maggie doesn't start with the best range, so although it can um, it can be kind of nice in the fact that sometimes uh, my reflection can make you hit things that you might normally miss because um, it'll hit them on the bounce back of your shot. I really don't like it as an item. I think it's a horrible item, so I will not be taking that. Um, and if you got an item like Epicac, my reflection effectively ruins your run. So. Although I think it's pretty unlikely that I will get Ipecac, it can happen. I remember the last time I took Sack of Pennies, I got Relics um, in the same run. Or the last time I took Little Chad, that was it. Last time I took Little Chad, I got Relic in the same run, and Little Chad makes Relic worse. So, kind of just GG'd myself there. But um, there's a shop. I could open it. Not really sure if I want to. I'll check if the secret room is 
down below the shop here and if it is and it has a bunch of sense in it i'll definitely check out the shop got plenty of keys so i'm not really scared of losing the keys i'm more just scared of opening the shop and seeing nothing in it and being sad okay so there's a um, seven cents in the seek room if i get three more cents i can't access the shop the shop still can't be greed i believe i've never been 100 percent sure if it's caves one or caves two where greed can first access the shop uh treasure map would be nice i need three more cents to buy that though i can probably get three cents through the rest of this floor though so i'm not too worried about it sacrifice room not going to be taking advantage of that one there's no way to get that sense unless I manage to get like an angel room on this floor and get holy grail or something like that which would be really nice um, another tinted rock so getting a fair amount of tinted rocks this run this is a difficult room to deal with at least the way I was trying to deal with it initially I think it works a bit better when you're you know more willing to move around but I just really want to be careful not to take damage um, as much as possible this run this runs goal this is going to be the not take damage run the run in which i don't get hits hardly at all because my last few runs um let's just say i've rage quit because of uh taking large 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 amounts of damage so this run our goal is going to be to take as little damage as possible um library here gives me two books of revelations um i will use that but i'll use that after the boss because i don't really want this particular boss to be a horseman um, and it's not, it's a fistula. Oh, I don't know why I used the shield right away. I probably should have waited, but oh well. Um, if I had waited a few seconds until we had a few more fistula parts out to use the shield, that would have been a lot more effective, but you know, whatever. I have tons and tons of health as it is. Not like I'm going to, uh, you know, get, you know, too self confident in the fact that I have tons of health and start to lose it because I've had that, uh, very thing happened to me quite often lately so this run we're going to keep our health a premium we're going to be grateful to it um we're going to be like african children with food with our health speaking of food i got some food there as my boss drop unfortunately no deal with the devil that room even though i had a really good chance to get it i didn't wind up getting it so i will use book of revelations and then we're going to actually move on with book of shadows um because book of shadows will become much better when i get some orbitals and I don't know why I'm taking Book of Revelations over, or I don't know why I'm taking Book of Shadows over Book of Revelations, but I am. Um, I should probably blow up some of these bomb flies near the uh, Tinted Rock there. And I'm trying my best to do that. Let's be a little bit more careful here. Oh, that was stupid. I almost got uh, one of the, the champion boom fly blown up near the Tinted Rock. Uh, this would have been an okay room to use Book of Shadows in, I think. Let's blow you guys up. Okay, got the Tinted Rock there. Got one Soul Heart back from the... I'm not sure if I lost one or two. Some enemies do one heart uh, worth of contact damage. Some only do half a heart worth of contact damage. Like, I know, for example, um, Globins do a full heart of contact damage. Oh, I'm glad I didn't take that. That was very close. That spawned, like, right next to me, too. And I was very close to taking it, but... um. We can't get tick trolled this this uh, run because once you've seen the tick, you can't see it again. So that's a really good thing, I suppose. Um, I've already seen the tick, so I can't see it again, so I cannot get tick trolled. I've only been tick trolled once ever. Um, I only say that because it kind of sounds like Rick Roll, you know. So it's like a, a play on the words, if you will. Um, I would love to access the boss boss challenge room if they're happy because with the amount of soul hearts i have and if there is a blood bank on this floor i think i could it'd be awesome if i could act how did that hit me lately i've been founding that um some enemies that don't have homing tears are able to kind of home their tears around rocks and it's really annoying has anyone else noticed that like you can stand directly behind a rock and some enemies can still hit you sometimes it's so frustrating but um anyway yes i will access this golden chest but yeah, I'm pretty much just really hoping that there is a uh, blood bank on this floor so that I can wind up getting, um, I just realized I completely forgot to buy the treasure map last floor. Oh well, I mean, it's it's an okay item. It's not like game winning or anything. So there is an arcade. I will be taking advantage of that arcade to get myself low health so I can access the boss trap room. I think that's, you know, a really good idea and that's really going to help me out. Are you going to pop up again? Okay, there you go. And as soon as this guy's dead, we will access the arcade. Come on, man. Okay, there you go. 
Um, bomb for a key, not really worth it when I have this many keys and this few bombs. So, I do want this to pay out, but I don't want it to pay out until I have one red heart left. So, and I will use my Book of Shadows on this machine as well to try to get a good payout. And then I'll probably dump, like, most of my money into the Soul Heart machine, leaving 15 cents, of course. But I want to get rid of all the money before 15 cents so that I have a better chance of not finding greed in the shop. Alright, so hasn't paid out yet. That's good. Let's head to the boss challenge room now. Now, ideally, we want it to pay out right after we finish the boss challenge room, because I can pick up a few healths, and I can also use the Book of Shadows on that um, blood bank, and that could end up winding up to be a really good oh, a speed upgrade. Well, you know, with Maggie, that's actually worth it. So, you know, with a lot of other characters, I probably wouldn't even bother with it, but I haven't had a speed up yet, and Maggie, of course, um, is pretty slow. If you watch some Isaac runs, you'd know that, because they'll complain about it all the time. But, um, speed upgrade definitely works well with Maggie if you're at base speed with her, because she's, yeah, she's the slowest character in the game, so, um, speed ups are needed. But it is a little bit disappointing, I was kind of hoping for more, like, a you know, health up or something. Not like a health up would be that much better than a speed up, you know. Probably with Maggie, you would end up taking less damage, um, with the speed, so that would be better than a health up for her. I'm just gonna use the Book of Shadows here, because I don't want to be trolled by Larry Jr. Um, yeah, I'll be kind of wasting it for the Blood Bank, but I should get the Blood Bank to pay out this floor anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and after this, we will go back to the arcade and waste, like, all of my money on the Soul Heart Machine. Don't worry, I will pause that, because I usually pause the game while I'm gambling. Um, well, pause the recording anyway while I'm gambling, because it's not fun to watch. Let's be honest. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the arcade, and I'm going to play on the blood bank a little more if I can get many health drops, and I'm going to play the soul heart machine. So I'll be right back. So we're all done with gambling. Um, I got the soul heart machine to blow up, and I played down to, like, no hearts left. I've played this machine at least, like, 25 times, at least, if not more, and uh, didn't get to pay out. So I did get Scatoli, which is nice, and I will co go back there if I manage to get some more um, heart drops. But, you know, that is quite a greedy blood bank. So, um, this is the kind of blood bank that will make you play on it, like, 40 times, and it'll give you the IV bag. Like, that's that's kind of what I'm feeling from this particular blood bank. But, I could use the speed up, and I could really, really use the health up, um, and the heart recovery as well. So, um, that thing, I really hope I get that blood bank to pay out, but we'll see. May not happen, and if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just the end of my world. But, um... Yeah, but we'll see if we get that to pay out or not. What is this? The Joker card. Oh, that is actually exceptional. And we get ourselves a Krampus fight, which isn't bad at all, actually. Um, I like myself some of my Krampus fights. I like myself a lump of coal. Um, free devil item, although, I mean, with the heart containers that I have, I would be completely okay spending some of them on Mark and Pact, my more favorite items to see in uh, deals with the devil. Um, so this fight might take a while, but once I have Lump of Coal, uh, future fights will take less time. So that's the nice thing about it. One thing that I'm kind of realizing is I could really use a range up, especially if I'm going to have Lump of Coal. Um, range up would be really, really nice uh, to get, you know, from my item rooms or boss rooms or whatever. But just something that gives a range up would be great. Because um, that makes Lump of Coal a lot better when you have range. And also, I'm still at base range, which is not stellar. So, um, if I could get one of those at all, that would be nice. Oh, this fight is taking so long. Because um, my damage is okay. I mean, I have had uh, the uh, pentagram, but that's the only damage up that I've had so far. Maybe I should have saved this Joker card and used it. But, you know, just saved the Joker card and uh, just seen if I could have earned this deal with the devil normally. But, oh well. I was impatient, I guess. But yeah, if you wanted to play smart, what you'd do is you'd fight the boss, and if you didn't get a deal with the devil, then you'd use the Joker card, and if you got a deal with the devil, um, then you'd save the Joker card for the next four. That's the, uh, the smart thing to do. But I typically don't do this smart thing, so there we go with the uh, Lump of Coal. Really nice drop there, and I think I only got hit like one time during that room. So Lump of Coal is uh, one of the better items in the game, in my opinion, actually. Um, it increases the damage of your tiers dependent on how long your tier is on the screen. So what makes Lump of Coal really good is high range and low shot speed. That is what you want for Lump of Coal. Lots of Soul Heart drops this room, or this floor. Being quite generous with the whole Soul Heart drops thing. But um, yeah, that's that's what you want for Lump of Coal. Um, those two 
make it a lot better. But also you just kind of want to stand at a distance when you're shooting at people because your tears will do a lot more damage at a distance. It's unfortunate that that red heart dropped like in the middle of the room where I can't grab it. There's half of a red heart more, so that's, uh, you know, one more play that I can get off on the machine. And item room here is going to be large. So that's two health up, but that is a speed down. But I will take it because we're going to try to get that blood bank to pay out for us. Um, so I'm back down to like Maggie's old slow self, but we'll see um, if we can make this work or not. So we got a bomb in there on peep. And we will just soul heart or shield up with the you know, book of shadows here. Even though my um, tears are going to do less damage because I'm not shooting at range, um, you know we'll be able to get a lot of damage in here. So I haven't even taken damage damage against Peep yet, which is kind of the idea. I really like book of shadows. I think book of shadows is a very underrated item. Um, it can be very very good if used properly. So I think it's uh, actually an item that's kind of worth picking up sometimes. Squeezy which is tears up and more so hard, so we'll be firing more of these uh, coal tears now. Um, really could use a range up as well, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I will access the shop, even though the shop will most likely be greed. I'd, let's just say I'd be very surprised if the shop is not greed. Um, however, you never know, we could get some like hearts from fighting greed or something. And if there are any hearts in the shop, of course, I will be purchasing them. Uh, what is this card? High Priestess. Perfect. Um, you can use that to cheese. I'm really not very good at it because I'm slow uh, with the whole the pressing buttons thing. I have really terrible hand-eye coordination, so um, I'm not very good at using the High Priestess, but you can use the High Priestess to your advantage um, to cheese bosses and kill them quite easily. So as I suspected, um, the shop is greed. I kind of figured. I mean, we've already been to a couple shops, so we've been a little bit spoiled already. Um, got hit there, which I really didn't want, but hey, you know, I have health and to spare. Not like that means I can just waste it, but um, it means I can be okay taking a few damage. You really want to stay far, stand far away from greed, not just if you have a lump of coal, but um, it's really hard to dodge his tear patterns if you're close to him because his tears are too close to each other. Oh my goodness, I took damage there. I'm so pissed off at the result of that run. Wow. Okay, so I took like literally five hits against Greed, partially because of my bad speed, but mostly just because I'm bad. Um, but let's go back and play the machine here, and if I get a blood bag, I'll be forgiven. Since I um, found that, um, yeah, since I found the lard, I really do need the speed up from a blood bag right now, so if it doesn't pay out, we will just blow it up. I guess that's what's going to have to happen. I mean, although I can do this to get a few extra free plays off on the blood bank, I almost blew it up without using the book shadows. That would have been a fail. I do get the blood bag. It took like 40 plays, but it did happen. So that's a speed up, which makes me a little bit better. Makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. And now that I have a good amount of bombs, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hex this key here because that means more gold chests, more chances to get fate. I really want fate. Um, so I have so many soul hearts at the moment. Well, I don't know. I lost so many soul hearts in the greed fight. I don't really know how many I have, but I had a lot of soul hearts. Um, I might not have a whole lot now. I can't really tell with all my health at the moment. I have tons and tons of health, though, so I really hope I get some uh, deal with the devils that I can actually spend health on. But we'll see. Okay, moving on to the depths one. Okay, at least it's not... Um, all I can say is at least it's not depth to XL, so I have a much better chance of, uh, you know, getting myself a deal with the devil. And maybe we could, it would be so awesome if we could get, like, a Joker card next floor, or get a Joker card this floor and save it for next floor, but, um, we'll see. Key there, somewhat debatably helpful. Um, room full of Globins. I mean, I'm not gonna take Red Heart damage on this floor, more than likely. Uh, it could happen, but we're gonna make it our goal not to take Red Heart damage. So I'll have a decent chance of a deal with Devil, but I did access a deal with Devil last floor, so it's like a, I don't know, 70%-ish chance if I don't take any red heart damage. It's definitely not guaranteed. I will access this gray chest in hopes of getting, I don't know, probably just get money. Oh, hearts, that works too. I was kind of in need of both, so these flies actually aren't dangerous to me because I have Skatoli. Um, red patch, which might be better than Isaac's head, but I'm going to hold on to Isaac's head for now. I'm just going to use the um, Book of Shadows here. I hate knights, and uh, you know, you might as well have a use your spacebar item, especially if it's one that recharges only once every three rooms. Um, there's no reason to hold on to it and squander it, but um, regular mob trap room here, which I'm 
very well may decide to enter. Oh my god, it's taking so much damage from the grimaces. I don't know why I struggle so much with dodging grimaces, but I really do. Ah, so I took like another three hits there. Bombs are key pill. Um, golden chest. I don't really want to fight knights just for a golden chest, because you do have to fight knights in that room. I'd kind of rather not, in all honesty, so we're just going to give that one a pass. Um, this shop will probably be greed, because it usually is greed, but if it's not greed and it's like Nun's Habit, Nun's Habit would work so well with Book of Shadows, even though I don't have any, oh my goodness, even though I don't have any orbitals, um, which I really wish I did, but um, yeah, just Nun's Habit and Book of Shadows are two items that work very, very well together if I could pick that up, but it'll probably be, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, bum friend, yeah. Not very interested in that. We'll buy the key. You know, with the amount of money I have, I might as well take bum friend. Because I don't really need the money. I'll be able to get one more cent for the shop on the next floor, and after that, money is kind of pointless unless I come across a beggar. But unless that happens, um, yeah, bum friend, I'll just let him take the money, and mostly I just want soul hearts from him, but we'll see. He, he does pay out with soul hearts decently often. It's, it's not. It's not a common thing for him to get soul hearts, but um, we'll see. If you have like miter with bum friend, I think that's something that works out really well. A key from that tinted rock that's really disappointing, and just a bomb from the golden chest. That's another thing that's very disappointing. Um, I'm gonna use book of shadows to not get hurt going into here. Two troll bombs. It's kind of what you can expect going into a room like that. Um, let's go ahead and check here if this is the secret room, and it is in fact the secret room. Probably just more sense again. I'll take a couple and then let bum friend take the rest. He won't pay out with anything though. Um, I've had runs where bum friend just like gives constant keys and soul hearts, so I know sometimes he can be a bro. Um, but we'll see if this run happens to be one of those times or not. Anyway, uh, mostly just really, really want to deal with the devil and really, really want to see Mark impact inside that deal with the devil. Um, that is a health up, I think. No, it's telepills. Dang it. Um, but I will be taking those telepills down to next floor. And if you know how the uh, the devil rooms work on Depths 2, you'll know why I took the telepills down to next floor. But um, yeah, I will be taking them down to next floor with me. Could possibly get that to work out. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit by those spikes. I really should have been. Um, anyway, let's get these guys both firing so I can take this guy out. Get this guy firing this way, and get him firing this way. Take him out. Um, okay, one more sense. Eh, I'll just let bum friend take him. Why not? You gonna pay out with anything? Oh, finally, paid out with half a heart. Uh, sacrificial dagger. Okay, there's an orbital that does high damage. So that is an orbital, actually. Sacrificial dagger is an item that makes book of shadows quite a bit better, because um, it does very, very high contact damage. We will use book of priest, book of priestess, the high priestess against the boss on this floor, and then I'll. Hopefully remember to come back and get that telepill. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, one of these rooms. Nothing I can't handle, really. Hopefully. I mean, I, I don't have the most bombs right now, but I should be able to handle this room at least. We'll lay a bomb down there, and we'll lay one down here because we can get three bombs for the price of one. Definitely worth doing. Okay, so mostly just looking for the boss right now. Room full of knights. Oh... Not really one of my more favorite room themes in the game. Um, I think knights only do half a heart of damage, although I could be wrong about that. I really have no idea. Um, hopefully knights only do half a heart of damage. I don't know why I get hit so much against the knights, because, like, yes, they're really annoying to kill, but they're really not hard to not take damage against, but for some reason, um, I take a ton of damage against them, but I, like, I take a ton of damage against everything, so that's not really anything new. Oh, rooms with knights and leapers. Definitely one of my more least favorite rooms in the game. Um, that was a really close dodge, actually. Uh, I came very close to getting hit there. So we got both knights coming at me at once here. I could use Book of Shadows, but in case the boss room is next room, I don't really want to do that because I do definitely want to check out... Well, I want to check out the boss room. Of course I want to check out the boss room, but... Um, I want to use Book of Shadows against the boss. You know what we can do? We can just do that. There we go. I think the main reason I'm having so much trouble with this room is just the fact that uh, there wasn't a whole lot of room to maneuver. 
Okay, so here is the boss room, and there's also a spitting grimace. Well, not spitting, not a vomit grimace, but a grimace grimace, you know, a regular one. A um, tear shooting grimace. A key, uh. I mean, I've had a lot of tinted rocks this run, which is good, but mo the tinted rocks haven't been super generous with the soul arts, which is not good. Okay, so high priestess. I'm gonna try to use this card to correctly cheese this boss, but we'll see. Um. Oh, that's not how. Okay, so we're gonna wait till he stops charging. And then we're gonna go like, okay, well he won't use it. All right, so basically what you do after you use High Priestess, I've shown this off before, is right after the foot stomps, you open up the uh, pause menu, and then you unpause, and the foot will stomp again. I'm really bad at it, and I've only managed to do it correctly a couple times. <laughs> Scapular, whatever, I'll take it. Scapular is fine. It's not great. It's fine. I would have much, much preferred a Devil Room, but whatever. Um, I also completely forgot to use Book of Shadows during that fight, and therefore lost an entire heart. So, if I just used Book of Shadows upon entering the room, I would have been completely fine. I wouldn't have lost any damage, but I just forgot about it because I was too focused on uh, using that um, High Priestess card correctly. So, we'll use Telepills and take him down to Depths 2 with us, and uh, that will have a small chance in resulting me getting a devil room small chance versus pretty much no chance without them unless i got a joker car i suppose or a teleport from a curse room into a devil room both of which can happen both of which are very rare to happen though so we uh, got an angel room and got pretty much the second worst item in that angel room some people like scapular with the d6 i just don't like scapular really at all um yeah this is definitely a good room to use um this item against what is it called book of shadows against so i can get an item shield and wow it's taking me a long time to freaking take out these hearts i don't know why it's taking me so long so i do i did pick up bloody lust didn't really talk about that but that's just going to make it so um i can my damage will increase as i kill enemies so that's why my tears turn red after i killed that dude and we got an, ourselves another library although i mean i'm really liking book of shadows at the moment Monster Manuel, Book of Belial, both good items, but I think I'm going to stick with Book of Shadows. I don't know why. Normally, I'd take Bo Book of Belial over Book of Shadows, but I'm just really liking the whole uh, Book of Shadows aspect right now. Oh, four Vomit Grimaces in the room. I do not like this. Uh, yeah. That did not go so well. I did take damage, but, you know, I, I pretty much take damage no matter what room I go into, so maybe it wasn't the worst thing. The worst thing that could have happened. Which is the best thing that could have happened, which would have been a lot better. But, um, yeah, I mean, Bloody Lust will increase our damage slightly, very slightly, uh, as I kill enemies. So, it's not the most helpful, but it does make a difference. Oh, this is not a good room to start in. Oh, and I got hit there. That was very stupid. Um, just not the best room to hit in, get hit in, because I, starting because I got, like, hit immediately. Almost hit immediately as I entered the room. Like, I still have soul hearts left, but I don't think I have very many left. I had so many soul hearts at one point, but I think I've lost um, most of them. We'll just say that. I probably have, like, a few soul hearts left. This is a good room to use uh, Book of Shadows against. Use Sacrificial Dagger to take him out very quickly. And we found our boss room already, so I might as... Uh, oh, my goodness! My, my character moved backwards a little bit. I swear I did not hit the back button at all. Like my character, as I moved forwards, my character just bounced back slightly and bounced back into the brimstone shot and took damage. I didn't press back on the character, I just... Okay, well I'm definitely gonna get um, a Book of Shadows. Uh, actually, I might as well just take Book of Belial into the mom's heart fight because I can get Book of Shadows back. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll probably... Um, get Book of Shadows charged later on and I'll use that um, against I'll use Book of Shadows against the uh, Blood Bank here so again you know we'll have a chance a very slim chance but there will be a chance of this telepill resulting in me getting a deal with devil or angel I kind of prefer a deal with devil with the amount of hearts I have and the fact that I really really could use damage right now I almost pressed the telepills by accident there that would have been pretty stupid if I did um, so, Bloody Lust is also going to help me out here, because it'll increase my damage as I kill these guys. Um, oh, that was stupid. Oh, that was almost stupid. Oh, that was stupid! 
Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself right now. Um, but yeah, I'll, my damage will increase as I kill some of these minions. Uh, I hate blue moms sometimes, especially when she spawns green heads. Not green heads, but green heads. Maybe you misunderstood me, but um, yeah, my like I have good damage. I just ooh. so does mom. Mom is also taking some good damage. So I got hit there, but sacrificial dagger got a good amount of damage off on mom. So this is, I don't know. This is kind of looking like a, a mom's mom's heart run sort of fight. I don't think this is really looking like a uh, a chest win sort of fight, unless I got Guppy's paw. If I teleport to the devil room here and I get Guppy's paw, this could definitely be a uh, this could 100% be a um, a winning fight, you know, like chest winning. But I don't think I'm gonna get Duck Guppy's paw. But if I do find Guppy's paw like in a curse room or something with the amount of red hearts I have and Polaroid invincibility, oh yeah, I could easily win. Um, but that's a big if, yeah. You know, no devil room. Wasn't very likely, so I wasn't really expecting it. Um, so I'm not like completely let down by that or anything. But anyway, we will be playing this blood bank as soon as I get my book shadows recharged, and uh, just desperately hoping that I find a guppy's paw in a curse room or something. And that's pretty much my only hope of actually winning this run, because um, my damage is okay, but it's not really. It's definitely not powerful enough to be winning damage by any stretch of the imagination. You might consider that a waste of the bomb. I consider that an investment in a blood bank. Um, so, yeah, pretty much. Ah, I got, like, coffee burps coming up because, you know, I've been get getting back into drinking coffee. Um, I, I, I was out of the loop for a little while, but I've been starting to, like, try to wake up earlier, get on a... A better sleep schedule so I'm not like falling asleep at 3 a.m. and and waking up at 11 um, a.m. because that's that's how it was going for a little while I don't think that's very healthy so um, coffee is definitely my main supplement to uh, help me out I'm surprised I didn't get hit there bum friend I was gonna say if you pay out in the middle of those spikes I'm not gonna grab it unless it's something really really good oh yeah I just realized um, I got a book of shadows charge um, now, I'm not going to leave the room now, but even though this this isn't a terribly difficult room to do again because I have Skatel, so none of these flies are too threatening to me. I keep forgetting that I do have Skatel, and I'm just like, hey, um, why are these flies not attacking me? Oh, that must be why. Um, I do have enough money to access the final shop. It's not like there's a money requirement to access the shop or anything. Please don't pay out in the middle of those spikes. Oh, that was close. Oh, there he goes. He pays out on the other room. I was going to say, if he pays out in the middle of spikes, I'm not getting it. So, we will go ahead and use Book of Shadows here to uh, play this Blood Bank. And the next time I get a Book of Shadows charge, I will play again. And hopefully, Bum Friend uh, will pay out with a, a Joker card. Is that a Joker card? If that is a Joker card, you are the biggest bro of all time. Range up, which is awesome. Hierophant, which is pretty good. So, I think those are some pretty good drops from Bum Friend. I'm just realizing also. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. Well, not against me, but for me, because I almost walked in the middle of those spikes, but as we're playing the Blood Bank, uh, Bum Friend is getting some items to help us out with, so it's really working out for us. Oh, did I get hit there? I don't think I got hit there. Um, I don't want Mom's bra, though. So we will check out what is in the Mob Trap Room. The golden chest? Uh, no, I'm not really feeling it. I will play here. And I will take that heart because I have plenty of keys. Oh, don't walk through those spikes, please. I have plenty of keys, and uh, I'll be able to use that to play on the blood bank a little bit. I don't know how much I'll play on the blood bank, but um, I would really like some bum friend payouts. So I think it's definitely worth doing. We're mostly just looking for the shop at this point. Yeah, I'll, I'll let bum friend take those. He pays out with tail pills. I could use the tail pills. Um, I could have an extremely, extremely unlikely chance, but a chance nonetheless of uh, teleporting to the devil room. I don't think there is a curse room on this floor. I mean, it, there could be a curse room down this path, I suppose. But I don't think we're gonna get ourselves a devil room on this particular floor. It's, it's looking less and less likely, but we'll give it a shot. Hopefully I get one more chance at least to um, no, there's no curse room on this floor. But there is a tinted rock on this floor. Which is almost as good. Not really. Um, I don't think I'm getting that soul heart. So that's really unfortunate. Just the way that soul heart bounced. Super greed. Well, you know what we can do with him? We can do that. Ah, what do you say? 
I'll allow one friend to take this money over here. Are you gonna pay up? Nope. All right, so we'll play the blood bank a few times. How many times? I'm not really sure, but we'll put a few hearts into it. Allow bum friend to take the money. Hopefully he pays out with a joker card. If you could do that, man, I would be eternally grateful. Oh, an IV bag, of course. Um, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to head on. Although, IV bag could be, like, really good with bum friend, I guess. But, um, if we did the invent, you know, let's try it. Let us try it. Let's try to do the uh, unlimited money because with bum friend that could work to be so good. I'm really bad at this though, so just keep that in mind. What? Oh. Okay, so we go like this. And as soon as I hit the hear the sound, I immediately move into the next room. And we can use this to get full health. We can use this to get item drops and stuff. We got mom's pearl there. We're gonna try for a devil card. This is so overpowered when you have bum friend along with you. The game very well might crash after a little while of doing this, but I don't care. So as soon as I hear the sound, I immediately move on to the next room. It's kind of hard with all the other sounds going on to actually hear it, but you can like see the blood bag appear in my head. So if you guys aren't aware of what I'm doing, you can effectively use the IV bag to get infinite money. But you have to be careful with it because you have to do it really quickly. So I got a second pull right there, which is a little bit crazy. Oh, I didn't I did that didn't do that one fast enough. So I've been taking some damage here. If you do it fast enough um, and you move through the door, it basically uses the invincibility frame, which I have not been doing a good damn a job of. I've been getting hit several times, as you guys can probably see. But there's lots of cards here. I don't know how much longer I'll do this because I don't want the game to crash, but... <laughs> Bump friend is just going to town, I swear. I mostly just want to, like, get healed up, so I'm kind of hoping we have a sun card here or something. This is so cheesy. Okay, I'm going to stop now just because I've been hitting myself so much because I'm, I'm really bad at doing this. Balls of Steel, great pill. Empress. If there's, like, a full health card in here or something, Wheel of Fortune, definitely. Um, Hermit, not useful. The tower, I'm just going to go in this room and waste it because I do not want the tower. I just kind of want the card off the ground. And yeah, I will play this machine a little bit because I'd love some pretty flies. Hermit is not useful to us at all because that will just get us um, to a greed fight. Um, I would like Mom's Pearl, but uh, that's not going to help me out this particular floor. Bad gas. Lots of trinkets that I just don't need at all. Um, Child's Heart, not helpful. It's kind of weird how there's two Polaroids in the ground. I was like, you're going to hope that it doesn't crash the game or anything. Moon teleports me to the secret room. Um, range up, that's definitely something I'm interested in. We'll slap down another Wheel of Fortune here. So we can play two at once, be more efficient. Uh, bombs are key. I guess I might as well use that just to get it out of the way. Um, we'll go ahead and teleport with the moon card because I haven't checked out the secret room yet. Oh, sorry, bum friend. I didn't mean to take your money there, man. Um, we will bomb our way out of it because I don't want to go up by those spikes again. I might try a few more plays with the IV bag just to see if I can't get myself like a full health sort of item. What is this? Empress is good. Telepills. I could use that and just hope to get a lucky telepills, hope to get an IM error room or something, although that's pretty unlikely. So we will be playing double efficiency with these dual um, slot machines here. Oh, wow, and we get the dollar. So I'll be back. I'll be doing a bit of gambling here. So I used the telepills, and I actually found uh, my top secret room, which has an eternal heart in it. Um, which is great and all, but actually what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the IV bag a little bit more. Just to try to cheese with Bomb Friend a little bit more. I did get a few health back, so I feel a little bit more comfortable doing this. But, um, you know, we got some drops from this, but I feel like we could get some more. So, we're going to play in a different room. So it's a little less crowded and all. And I'm going to try to be a little bit better at this. Playing in a room with spikes. A little bit sketchy. But um, it should work out since most of the coins should drop near the door. 
and there's a health drop that's mostly what i'm hoping for is like healths and stuff so i can kind of try to heal back up to full and of course items actually we're gonna we're gonna move locations here i don't want to play right next to spikes um mostly just trying to get bum friend to pay out with some items some sick items here i guess i can just go back to this location it's fine we'll we'll sort through the piles and all later so the second i hear that sound i immediately go oh and i've been getting hit even though i felt like i was on the invincibility frame so you only have like a brief split second of invincibility here to actually go through the door and then you're screwed and I'm really hoping I don't forget about the eternal heart. I just, I didn't take it so I could continue to do this. And obviously, oh, how did that hit me? Um, obviously, if you uh, go through it too early, then you don't get the play off on the IV bag. But if you go through it too late, then you lose health. So you got to be like, you got to do it at the exact right time. And that's, that's something that I'm really bad at is using stuff at the exact right time. I'm just not, that's not something I've ever been good at in video games is like perfect timing so um, even though people like biznap can do this perfectly for hours yeah if I try to do it I'm gonna get hit some um, I try not to mention like other youtubers and stuff during videos because that's a little bit awkward but I apologize um, I'm pretty low health so I'm really hoping that one of these pills or one of these cards or pills or anything like is a health like even a lover's card would be pretty good right now blue baby's soul Lots and lots of trinkets, so it's really too bad that I never managed to get a mom's purse this run. I mean, you could just do this forever and cheese the game so hard. Um, I can't do it forever, obviously, because I'm bad with the timing. But if someone that was, like, really good with the timing just did this, like, forever, um, you could, like, easily win a game. I think we found a new broken combination in The Binding of Isaac. Bum friend plus IV bag. <laughs> it's the new, the new meta game here. Um, I'm kind of, I've never seen anyone utilize this tactic before, although maybe it's just because bum friend isn't exactly the most common item and it, it's pretty rare to get bum friend and IV bag together on a run. So, um, I don't know how much longer I'll do this. It's probably looking a little bit boring. I'm starting to get to the point where like the money is spawning right on top of me and that's not what I want because I'm just picking it up again and I have 94 cents, so I don't need the money at all unless I got like money equals power or something, but that's pretty rare to happen. We'll do it a few more times. I'm mostly just trying to like guarantee myself a sun card or something because I don't want to be going down to the next floor with this low health. Um, I definitely want to get some way to heal myself up again. Okay, we'll, we'll stop off there. We'll let Bum Friend pick up the rest. There's a lot of tarot cards there on the ground, so I'm hoping that at least one or two of them is uh, Burn Penny. Lots of good trinkets, but unfortunately I can't take any of them because I have to stick on with the Polaroid. The Fool card, not useful in the slightest. Uh, what is this? Two clubs. Oh, there's another playing card. Could be the Joker. You never know. Uh, that's what we're kind of going for here. Judgy! Yes! Yes, Judgy. Um, I will play him in the top secret room, actually. Because I think that's a good idea. Um, so I'll, I'll hold off on that Judgy card. I think the Fool is... Yeah, I was going to say the starting room is right over here, so I'll use it just to get rid of it. I will hold on to that judgy card and I'll go to the top secret room and room with him and play him because I think he can uh oh it's not devil I think he can pull from like the um the fool card I think he can pull from like the angel room pool since uh the top secret room is kind of like an angel room angel room format although I could be wrong about that but come on be a sun card chariot tower I'll waste that I might have to do this a little bit longer because I just I'm gonna keep doing this until I get some sort of health up sort of thing and heal myself up to full because I really don't feel like it's worth um, going on to the next floor hermit is not helpful uh, range up it's okay high priestess balls of steel extremely helpful uh, yeah it does look like we're gonna have to do this a little bit more just because um, I don't have any way to heal myself up to full here so I need that before I can move on so I'm very happy about that judgment card health up oh yes Oh yeah, boy. Um, I might use those tail pills later on, possibly. Okay, let's uh, use this to not take damage. Initially. That was supposed to mean I wouldn't take damage initially, but it looks like I still did. So I guess Chariot doesn't guard against Ivy Bag, but 
This is gonna be a really long run, but I just need a health up, guys. I promise, that's the only reason why I'm playing at this point. Well, not a health up, I just need a full health pill, you know, full health card. It just has to be sun card, or full health pill, or a couple lovers cards, you know. I'm not going down to the next floor with this low health, so it needs to happen. Before we move on, there's another card. It would be really cool if I saw some playing cards in the ground, because then, you know, we could we could have our beloved Joker, possibly. There's Cancer. Oh, man. I really wish I could take that. And before I get... Oh, there's another Balls of Steel pill. And before I get Curved Horn, I'm going to be really sad about not being able to take that. If only you didn't have to take Polaroid. Um, and then you could get, like, Mob's Purse and get Curved Horn and Cancer, and that would be super OP. Anyway... So we're getting a good amount of items. I'm like missing half the ones, half the shots here going through the door because I'm trying to be really cautious and not lose health because I'm low health and, you know, we're not guaranteed, I guess. Oh, Cursed Skull. I'm getting a lot of crappy trinkets. I mean, if I could get less of the trinkets and more of the cards and pills, that would be great. Um, more balls of steel pills would be awesome. I might be, actually, if I did this for long enough, I could probably eventually become powerful enough to just, like, straight up win the run. But I don't know. Okay, there's another couple hearts on the ground. Judgments, or, my little dude here is dropping lots of hearts at this point, so. If I could get enough hearts to heal up, I'd just stop there and be satisfied with that. Oh, there's another playing card. Could be the devil. Or joke card. It's probably not, but it, it could happen. I wonder, I think... I'm, I'm kind of hoping if, if you deplete the trinket pool, that doesn't mean that the game crashes. Because there are ways to crash the game, and I really don't want that to happen. So. We'll do it a couple more times, like five more times. There's one, two. I'm sorry if the counting is annoying. I'll just count in my head. Um, yeah, three more times, and then we'll stop because I don't want to crash the game. So, Oh, Eternal Heart. Okay, I think that Eternal Heart was a sign. It's time to end off. Joker card. Booyah! It worked. It... Oh. I don't know if I've ever been more disappointed in my life. Um, we did all that work for a Bible. I can't believe that. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned, but hey. Oh, and we got Curved Horn too, of course. Curved Horn and Cancer in a room, and I can't take either one of them. That really sucks. Um, no, I don't want the Bible. What is this? Another playing card, please. Oh, another joke card. Hey, I could I could bring that down to next floor, though, I suppose. Um, so that's not all bad. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I want to slap down the Wheel of Fortune. Because um, I really do still want some health, of course. Um, I definitely want to take that joke card to next floor with me. I'm just checking around here to see if I can't. Get myself a sun card, just anything to heal up would be great. If I if I can't get a heal hell up health up um from this like room full of items that I have, I'm just gonna say forget it. Uh we'll just pop that death card because I have no use for it really. I might as well just No, I don't want the high priest just to like destroy my uh machine or anything. Don't stomp on me. Okay. I don't know why the high priestess stomps on you if there's not a boss in the room, but she does, so kind of got to watch out for that what is this pill is that a uh, bad gas might as well just use that i mean i'm taking joker down to the next floor with me so at least i know even if it is an angel on next floor even if it is an angel room um i cannot get scapular and i can't get uh the bible anymore because i've already found those two so at least i know if i do get an angel room it'll be something decent guaranteed um balls of steel pill great item Bombs are key. Might as well, I guess. What is this? Another Joker card. Alright. Judgment. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about Judgy. And the tower. I'm just gonna play Judgment in this room down here so I can play both at the same time. Just to save myself a little bit of time. So I can play both Judgy and uh, this guy. So we'll do that. And the last thing we're gonna do is just... I guess it doesn't really matter which Joker card we take, but we'll take this one. I got a better feeling about this one. So I play a long time for the Joker card and finally get it. And then it's the Bible. And then I get two more Joker cards right afterwards just to troll me. But okay, so I'll be back after I'm finished gambling. 
So I'm gonna stop gambling and hold on to my last 15 cents just in case we run across like a beggar or something on a future floor. But you guys remember that eternal heart that I picked up earlier? Yeah, I got another one. So I got a health upgrade from that eternal heart. I'm sorry I didn't show it. The beggar just paid out with a ladder, which wasn't too great, but look at all the red hearts I got. I basically went from 94 cents to 15 cents playing on this machine here, and I got quite a few coin drops as well. And I picked up a few, although I let Bum Friend picked up most of them. We got another health up pill, which we'll use. Um and then since I got two eternal hearts already in this floor that gave me health up, what that means <clears throat> is I can go to the top secret room up here and I can pick up another eternal heart and I can get another health up. So if I'm counting correctly, I believe I am going to have 15 red hearts um, at leaving this floor. That is ridiculous. And I also have at least 10, 15 soul hearts. I have a lot of soul hearts. I lost track but i picked up a lot of soul hearts when we were gambling with judgy so from this floor we basically went from having virtually maybe a pretty good shot at winning mom's heart to now we have a pretty good shot at winning the entire game basically depending on how good this devil room is oh we got crystal labyrinth so we got nothing out of this devil room oh that's very disappointing but um I don't know. I mean, I guess we could still potentially win this run. I have, like, a ridiculous amount of health. Um, and if I could, you know, if I could find, like, I don't know, Guppy's Paw in a curse room, holy crap. Um, I could win the game easily if I found Guppy's Paw. Uh, even without Guppy's Paw, I might even very well win the game. We'll see, though. I mean, I have a ridiculous amount of health, but I really don't have the best damage. Um, I'm just saying with Guppy's Paw... Uh, the reason why I could win is permanent Polaroid invincibility. Heck, I could just stand right next to Isaac and Blue Baby with the Sacrificial Dagger, and I'd have so much health, like I literally could not die. It would just be absolutely ridiculous the amount of health that I have. Um, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how this run goes. You know, I have gobs and gobs of health, but that is no guarantee of victory, at least when it comes to me. They're really the only thing that guarantees victory for me personally is gobs and gobs of damage, as we found the secret room on this floor. So, I don't know. Normally, I'd be happy to see a Womb XL. This time, I'm not happy to see it, man. And that's because um, I would have had a deal with the Devil Room that couldn't have been Dead Cat and couldn't have been Guppy's Head. So, probably would have been a pretty good item, at least one good item in there, with 15 red hearts, and we don't get manage to get a devil room, because if you teleport a devil room in the XL, it doesn't give you anything good. Uh, unicorn horn. Uh, is that a six room recharge? I can't, I don't know. I think Book of Shadows is better. I know for a fact Book of Shadows lasts for longer, and I think Unicorn Horn might be like a longer recharge. So, um, we will take out Peep very quickly because I have Sacrificial Dagger. So, Sacrificial Dagger is going to be able to get in there, do some good damage. Um, anyway, I probably should be like using bombs against him, but uh, we'll, we'll use one this time. I really want to not take damage of it all possible because even though I have just an absolutely enormous amount of health you know um the blue baby and isaac fights are going to take a while um i mean yeah i assume i'm going to at least make the isaac fight with this amount of health but still they are going to take a while go for a bump friend you can do it buddy yes lover's card okay maybe not so much um and a fish head <laughs> well uh lover lover's card is better than not having a card i suppose um I probably won't need the healing anytime soon, but if I eventually do need the healing, at least uh, I have, like, Bloody Rage, and maybe we can get some good drops from the chest. Good drops meaning that's something that can increase my damage. We'll see. Um, I do have max range because I got several range up hills, so I thought I had max range. Yeah, I do have max range. So I should be able to take out these doppelgangers quite easily. Anyway, I'm liking the way this run is going, you know. I Go ahead, bump friend. Yeah, I won't take it. Go for it. I, I still really, really do wish this wasn't uh, Cursed Labyrinth, just so I, oh my goodness, just so I could get um, a Devil Room on this floor, but it's it's whatever, you know, it's not the end of the world or anything. So you're not going to appear there. The cysts are just uh, too much. It's something I tell my doctor on a daily basis. Um, yeah, I mean, let's let's just try to get this, this room over with. Cysts are really annoying because they, like, teleport away just as you start shooting them. Very frustrating, but I managed to get those out of the way. Bloody Lust, I think, helped me out quite a bit. More cysts. Uh, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to say adieu to the cysts and not even deal with that room. Um, so that is not the way to go. Hey, we found the boss room already. So, Well, boss rooms, I should say. Spoiler alert. There are actually two of them. Um, and 
they're both probably hopefully going to be easy but um anyway take out this room pretty easy room another key not really like i needed it or anything uh skull eggs okay so i will use book shadows against mom's heart because i mean what's the point skull eggs is a quite easy boss in my estimation so i won't even bother using uh well i won't even bother using book shadows here i'll just use it against mom's heart um, the only thing that I'm really kind of missing during this run, I guess, would be a Nun's Habit. But, I mean, a Nun's Habit, if I got it, would be pretty much a guaranteed win. Like, I don't see any way I could lose if I managed to pick myself up a Nun's Habit. Um, because I'd just be able to, by the time Book of Shadows ran out, um, I'd just get hit twice and then get another Book of Shadows charge. So, maybe the run would be a little bit too easy with Nun's Habit, but that would have been, like, great. Because I don't want to play Maggie ever again, to be completely honest. I want to be... I want to start getting done with some more characters, you know, I got Isaac, Eve, and Kane done right away, and then, um, ever since I finished those guys off, it has not been going very well since then, so, uh, Wafer would also be an awesome item to have, like, with the amount of health I have, like, it would just double my health, essentially, on the womb, and, uh, Cathedral, and Chest, even, um, this, yeah, this Skolex fight has taken a while. Um, probably because I don't have any th monsters to kill. He doesn't summon any minions, so I can't get any benefits from the uh, Bloody Lust. Yeah, Skolix is down. And we got a range up, which is useless because I already have max range. I know I was actually asking for range earlier, but I found several range up hills, so it's really not needed anymore. Uh, should be fast enough to get away from these eyes without taking damage, but we'll see. I don't, I'm not sure if you can walk into them without getting hit with, like, Sacrificial Dagger or anything, so... Why is it so hard to kill these eyes? Maybe my damage really isn't as hot as I, uh, initially assumed. Um, okay, so we'll try to take these guys out. Getting some more damage from my, uh, Bloody Lust. Killing these guys. Oh, I can't believe I outspeeded, uh... Well, I didn't outspeed, but I was just able to stay in front of them. Um, with, you know, Maggie. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty speedy with Maggie this run, even though there was no speed up pills in the rotation or anything. It would have been nice if there were some. Speed up can be really nice um, later on in the game when you come across some of those faster enemies, especially like the leeches. When you're fast enough to outrun leeches, that's when you know you're just like doing really good boss status sort of thing. Uh, please kill the knights. Oh, got all of them. That was pretty clutch. And as soon as uh, mom starts shooting bombs permanently, um, that's when I will use my uh, book of shadows here and got in on Duke Flies there. And now she starts shooting the bombs permanently. And we can use Sacrificial Dagger to do some damage against Mom. Um, some people say that contact damage doesn't work against Mom. It does, so I don't really know what they're smoking. But yeah, contact damage does in fact work against Mom. So, Sacrificial Dagger, get it in there and uh, do some damage. Whoa, okay, this is not a friendly room to be in. Mm, I don't like this room with any character, but especially not with Maggie. This room and Maggie just don't don't go well. No, not at all. At least uh, most of the other leeches were kind enough to kind of stay on the opposite end of the room as I am, and hopefully this is the path to the boss. This will be a great room to use. Uh, oh, and there's a tinted rock on this room, so hopefully I'll be able to restore the soul heart that I just lost. But, um. I might be able to, like, use, um, I guess I could use Book of Shadows against the Blood Bank, or I could just blow it up. I don't know which I'd rather do at this point. I think I'm just going to blow it up. Oh, I apologize if you heard the buzzing there from my phone. I'll just blow it up. And, uh, oh, yeah, let Bum Friend take the money, of course. No more? Just that one drop? All right. Okay, I'm going to use Book of Shadows against this room. Oh, no, and I walked out of the room by accident. That's so stupid. Um, yeah, I... Book Shadows would have been incredibly helpful during this room. How did I not get hit there? Oh! No! 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 <laughs> this is so high. This is so high. I might as well just finish off the room here at this point. Um, I, I can't believe, like, the amount I dodged there. I didn't... I didn't dodge everything, but I dodged most of it, and I frankly don't know how I dodged that much, as much as I did. That's pretty crazy. Oh, well, another Tinted Rock. After losing, like, three hearts in the last room, I, that's a, a nice, welcome surprise. Um, I could definitely use some more empty rooms. A nice library sounds great at this point, although I don't 
no, I think Book of Shadows is probably my best bet moving onwards, so I don't really know that I need anything from this library, but I'll check it out. Um, or it could be like a Book of Sin in there, that could give me a Soul Heart or something, so I don't think we've met Book of Sin yet. I know I've met Book of Revelations, so I can't get a free Soul Heart that way, but... Oh, uh, this room is so hype! Like, these, uh, Angel Babies here, they have so much health, it's ridiculous. I haven't even killed a single one yet, and I've hit them with, like, a lot of shots, so... It just goes to show how much health these suckers have. Finally took one out! And I'm trying, I'm being very careful to uh, dodge as best as I physically can, and I managed to not take any damage in that room, which was awesome. Neither of those books helped me at all, so we're just going to give that one a miss. Um, at least I, I still can't see my health, so that's a, a good sign. Oh, yeah, I, I kind of felt like that was probably going to happen. We want to keep our distance from this particular leech. Might as well just um, take him out. Oh, and I managed to not take damage there. Unfortunately, he dropped a red heart. I was kind of hoping he would drop a soul heart. Um, we'll check if the secret room is here, I suppose. And it's not, even though that was a likely location for it to be. And uh, I guess I'll check to the right now. I think if uh, Isaac isn't to the left, the next most likely place for him to be would be to the right. Logically, it kind of makes sense. I really just want to get to the Isaac fight, because, you know, the Isaac fight isn't going to be too difficult, especially with Book Shadows and everything. Um, it's more the rooms here that I'm worried about. Because when you don't have the best damage and you don't have the best speed, some of these rooms can be pretty tricky. Um, just every room has bomb leeches. <laughs> I swear, every single room. I don't I don't really want to use Book Shadows right now, because I feel like I'm going to run across... Oh my goodness! I feel like I'm going to run across Isaac, like, the second I use my Book of Shadows. I really don't want to use the charge up against not him. Um, oh yeah, I could definitely attempt at least to get a payout here. Yes! What up? Oh, this is wind running. I didn't want to say it, but I just won the run. Pretty much. If, if I don't win the run now, I'll be very surprised, but I will not be mad. Okay, Bob's Curse, Poison Bombs. It is a decent payout from that Demon Beggar. It's not the best payout, but I'm not going to argue with it, really. Um, and I got it for free, just using a Book of Shadows charge. Oh, so hype. Okay, so I'm really, really hyped to um, actually win this stupid run and not have to play Maggie again. Hopefully that happens. Okay, there is a curse room here, which I am going to check out. Is it going to be worth it? No, it wasn't worth it, but it was worth a try at least. I did lose a full two soul hearts doing that, so. Okay, two black widows. Really don't like black widow. I'm not a big fan, um, but it is also a basement level boss, which means I'm going to get hit a lot against it. <laughs> I was almost going to say, so it should be pretty easy, but... Um, no, I'll get hit against this thing. So, my tears are growing in size. Just because... Please don't let me be able to pick up that red heart. Okay, so I still am on soul hearts. Which, with the amount I've been hit, I'm surprised I'm still on soul hearts. I must have had, like, a redonkulous amount of soul hearts. Um, so I know I have at least 15 hits left I can take. At least, if not a couple more. I don't know how many soul hearts I have left, obviously, but... Every single soul heart I have left is one more hit I can take. Okay, finally. I was going to say, if this isn't the path to Isaac, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to be a little bit peeved if this isn't the path to Isaac. So I have 15 hits I can take, and then I have a 1-up. So that's another 15 hits I can take. And I have a lover's card, so that's another 2 hits I can take. So essentially, I have, what, 15 plus 15 plus 2 is 32 hits I can take. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to lose this run. Okay, well, there's one less. Oh, I'm actually in... I can actually see my health now. I, I thought I had uh, red hearts off the screen. But it wouldn't let me heal up, so... I don't know. Maybe I don't have as much health as I initially assumed that I do. Um, I'm going to have to go back and uh, find some red hearts to heal up with, though. Um, okay, so I can't actually see my health now, which just goes to show that... You know, even though I've been doing okay this run, I have taken an immense amount of damage. We will stay at a half heart interval just in case we need to um, get, what's it called, you know, permanent Polaroid, in well not permanent, but just in case we need to get Polaroid Invincibility later on, I will want to stay at a half heart interval. I just will use 
I think the first stage is actually the hardest if you don't have a lot of orbitals. I mean, I have two orbitals, which is okay, I guess. But, um, okay, so we got hit again. I'll use the lover's card here. And heal up a couple times. And unfortunately, there's nothing for me to get Bloody Lust on yet. Although, once he starts spawning angel babies, that can change. And I can get Bloody Lust on them. Oh, dang it. I really don't want to try this again. I mean, I have the one-up, so I can try it again, but I really... Oh. Yeah, I'm getting hit so much. Um, I just have the one orbital because, essentially, because um, I do have Sacrificial Dagger, but that one does not block tears. So, um, and also, if I die, um, I won't have the Book of Shadows charge, which I could go get another one, I guess, but... Um, okay, so I'm trying my best to do some dodging here. Which I'm going to need to do. I hate having to dodge against Isaac, but that's really what you need to do when you don't have the orbitals. Which I don't have at the moment, so... Um, that's why I was saying, if I had Guppy's Pod, this would be so easy, because I could have the permanent Polaroid invincibility. So I was actually hit by one of Isaac's light beams, which is actually kind of a rare occurrence. So I actually personally think the third stage is the easiest one, if you can get him to uh, not spawn a bunch of angel babies. Not like that's something you can control, but... You know, when he doesn't spawn a bunch of angel babies, I honestly think that the third phase of Isaac is, in fact, the easiest one. We will get a uh, poison bomb in there. I'll get another poison bomb in there. I probably will have to use my one-up if I'm going to get a blue baby kill, but it looks like I do get my Isaac kill. Oh, yes. Oh, my heart was kind of pumping just because of all the, the hype. Oh, yeah. I've said the word hype way too many times during this video, but... All the dodging that I had to go on. Guy, I got the crucifix unlocked, which means that... You know, I might as well go back and pick up some red hearts, because there are a lot of red hearts on the floor. Yes, I will have to get past some annoying spikes, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Even if I get hit, like, once against them, it's still worth it. Um, and I do have the one-up, but I don't want to, you know, squander this at all. I do want to unlock Maggie's Faith, which is what I'll unlock for beating Blue Baby. Still staying at a half heart interval, even though I picked that up because there is another half heart laying on the ground that I know of. Um, still staying at a half heart interval, making sure you do that, that's important. Not like I'll need it, I probably won't need it, in fact, but um, just want to be safe. I will not pick up that half heart because then I won't be at a half heart interval. Might as well, I mean, I have tons of bombs, so really no reason not to take that. Okay, so uh, just taking this slowly but surely and we'll head down to the chest and hopefully get some good items in the chest. Although there's a good chance that we won't get good items in the chest, but we'll try our best. And um, the cru crucifix that I unlocked means I can now find the item uh, Celtic Cross. That's what it's called. And what that does is it has, I think, a 1 in 4 chance of when you take damage. It spawns a 5 second shield so it's kind of like the polaroid but it works on any time you get hit you don't have to get hit um with like only half a red heart remaining yeah i'll take harlequin baby that's fine and the rest of them aren't really worth it the rest of the items are not great but i, I harlequin baby um i guess is somewhat more or less helpful so I might very well have to take a death to actually win this floor, but if that's what it takes, I will do it. Um, as we're fighting two wretcheds here, so these are kind of like the Widow, but it's, a, I believe, a Necropolis version of the Widow. So the, yeah, the Wretched is just like the Widow, but he like spawns more spiders and shoots more. And, I don't know, it's slightly more difficult. Also has low health like the Widow, though, so... Oh, this is so laggy. No, this is not your computer. This is not your internet. This is actually my computer laggy. Why it's lagging so bad, I don't really know, but it is. Key payout. Sure. Hopefully I get some more um, chests on this floor. I want to take Death out first because his night spawning is the more annoying of the two abilities, I feel. Um, oh, I got hit from his scythes there. Didn't want that to happen. Okay, so Death has his horse out. Um, I want to kind of take care of Death's horse because it can cause some damage. Especially when you're not paying attention, Death's horse can be extremely annoying. Oh, I got hit there. It was bound to happen. Um, could shoot at Death, I guess, as well. Oh, getting hit more and more and more here. Oh my goodness, I got hit so many times during this room. 
I might have to use the one up sooner rather than later, and I honestly don't know if I can be Blue Baby during this um, particular run, just because you know I was I thought I was doing pretty good, but apparently I'm really not. So um, anyway, as long as these guys pay out with a chest and it has like some really amazing sick item in it, I'm completely okay with all the damage taken during this room. Um, but yeah, most of my items have not been amazing or sick at all so far, at least during this run. So we did find, um, we actually found, oh, greed. <clears throat> we found the blue baby room already. Yeah, screw it. I'm just using book shadows and I will have to do a few more rooms to get a recharge and we want to kill gluttony last because, um, he's the dude that drops health. So just want to make sure, okay, gluttony's, um, one cool thing about gluttony is his little shooting thing there can actually damage his friends. So. That's a really nice thing about him. Come on, please drop the health up. Drop the health up. You want to do it. Well, he dropped some health, I suppose. That's okay. And I need to clear out two more rooms to get a Book of Shadows charge for Blue Baby, because I definitely need that. Um, I guess I could, but... Oh, two husks. Okay, sure. Um, this is a room I don't need Book of Shadows for. This is a room I don't even really need high damage for, so... Um, husk is fairly easy, so if I could come across another fairly easy room to get my Book of Shadows all charged up, that'd be great. I don't know if I want to use my Book of Shadows during my first life, though, because I'll have a better chance of actually winning it during my second life. Um, because I am fairly low health as it is here, so. I might just go ahead and, like, give it my best shot on the first life, and if I die, so be it. That sort of thing. I'm, like, not even paying attention to the damage I'm taking at all here. Hell pills, whatever, I'll use them. Teleport me back a little bit. Yeah, I might just have to take a death here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I died anyway during this particular room, but um, just to get my Book of Shadows recharged. Got our item room unlocked, or secret room unlocked, or whatever. I would just really like to get um, another chest with a decent item in it, though. That would be absolutely great if that could happen for us. being careful here. I don't want to like accidentally run into a secret room because that would uh, you know waste my charge so far of um oh I'd have to do this room again so I really hope I don't like run into the secret room by accident or something. Okay so after this room I'll probably just kill myself and then uh, go into the blue baby fight guns blazing and just go all out so I have uh, Polaroid invincibility for a few seconds I'm not gonna get up close and try to do sacrificial damage dagger damage though because it's only for a few seconds oh don't get hit by that don't get hit by that either oh so close even with a uh, Babylon active I really don't have amazing damage here this just goes to show like really my only damage up has been um what was a pentagram really early on and then I got a uh, lump of coal that's really been my only damage up the entire game so far so well I take one more hit and I'm dead, so what is this? Sun card? Fool card, alright. Whatever. Might as well go out in style, dying to my best friend. <laughs> and, okay, there we go. I was, I was hoping, like, come on, please, respond me. I glitched out for a second there. But. It's time to fight Blue Baby. And this time, I think I'm going to play it a bit smarter. After I use Book of Shadows, I'm going to get in there and like just lay poison bombs everywhere on the ground. We will use Book of Shadows first phase because that's the most difficult phase um, for me personally. Just laying poison bombs, getting sacrificial dag da dagger damage. Okay, it's almost out. Now we get out of there. So I did a good amount of damage to him. And also Blue Baby spawns flies, which not only are not aggressive to me, but also increase my damage of bloody lust so this fight actually I think is going to be quite a bit easier than the Isaac fight because look my tears are already quite a bit bigger now because um, blue baby is the same thing as Isaac he spawns the flies which are really nice for bloody lust and skatol you know because they can't hurt you um, so I really haven't taken very much damage against him so far and if I if I win this which it's looking like I have a good shot of winning it but you know nothing is guaranteed um, this will definitely be like the, I think the longest Isaac video I've ever uploaded. I've uploaded a few over an hour before, but I don't think I've ever uploaded once quite this long before. I'm pretty sure this is a new record. 
Not like this is a good thing, but I took my time with this run, and I gotta say, this run, um, definitely a well-earned victory. As long as it is a victory. I mean, I probably will win, but we'll see. Um, definitely had to take my time with this run. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Poison Bomb to, uh, Poison Blue Baby, and do some damage against all these, uh, little minions he's spawning. He's spawning a lot of minions this run. He doesn't usually spawn, like, this many. Um, like that Isaac run fight last time, I didn't get very many minions against that. So that should be Blue Baby GG. Oh, but the bomb was knocked out of the way. There's so many minions. So many, many minions. Okay, Blue Baby has been GG'd. Let's just take out the minions, and then we won. Take that so hard. Okay, Maggie's Faith has appeared in the basement. We unlocked two items in one run. Although Maggie's Faith is a trinket, not an item. Oh my goodness, that was the most gratifying Isaac win I've ever had. Definitely probably the least overpowered run I've ever actually won the chest with. Um, I've only won the chest three other times, but you know, the other three I was far more overpowered than this one. Only won the chest with only two damage up, and we can attribute all of it to a one-up, a uh, IV bag, and bum friend. Can you believe I won a run essentially using bum friend and IV bag as my primary items so that's pretty crazy anyway thank you guys for watching uh this very unorthodox run if you made it to at the end thank you a lot and uh yeah farewell